broken pipes. That's what Liberty Utilities and Pine Bluff claim are the main reasons the city does not have enough water. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Fox 16 News at 9. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. The company responded to an order from the Arkansas Public Service Commission explaining what's behind the water problems, what Liberty is doing to fix it, and its emergency plan. Fox 16 investigates Susan L. Corey takes a closer look at the report tonight, and some parts aren't adding up. The report from Liberty is more than 100 pages long, and we found there are several key inconsistencies between what the company claims and what city and county leaders tell us has been going on. As more water begins flowing in Pine Bluff, the pressure is now on Liberty Utilities to start explaining. In this new report to the Public Service Commission, Liberty claims as of Thursday, February 18th, water pressure dropped in the city. The company started emergency management, but crews had a hard time finding leaks because of bitter cold and excessive snow. At its lowest point, water pressure was a fifth of what it should be. Two days later on Saturday, February 20th, Liberty says it held its first emergency meeting with city leaders. That same day, water pressure was so low, the hospital couldn't take new patients. We've never had to haul water for for anything before. On Sunday, Liberty says it started bringing in more crews, who since helped find 252 leaks or breaks in customer pipes and another 22 on Liberty system, noting nothing on Liberty's end was a major leak. The report doesn't mention problems at Plant One, which Mayor Shirley Washington questions. I suspect they're not being totally transparent with us. When the storms hit, Liberty was using this emergency plan last updated in 2017. We found several outdated details. This county judge has been out of office for two years. The police chief retired a couple months before this plan was put in place. Both since corrected, Liberty included another plan dated February 22nd, five days after water pressure dropped in the city. When we reached out to Liberty, a spokeswoman only said their focus remains on restoring full water service. Throughout the report, Liberty pinned a lot of problems on the weather, saying at times roads were impassable and crews couldn't use equipment to find leaks. We'll have that full report up on our website. Back to you. All right, Susan.